Over the blue line. Colheen, nice pass over to Jaeger. Try to go, and it's into the net. Matt Jaeger tried to go back to Colhane on the other side. Looked like it deflected off a body and in. And there's our first goal of the game right there. It's a power play marker from Matt Jaeger, his 16th of the season. Brazier. Liam Reed with a good pinch. Reed hanging on to it here below the goal line. Reed taken down. Yard in front scores! What an effort by Liam Reed, taken down below the goal line, still able to get it out in front to Aiden Yard, his ninth of the season, 2 0 Braves. Up the ice, Yard to Bell Sterling. Bell Sterling with a shot save, rebound right there, Yard scores! Aiden Yard on the rebound, second of the night. And with 13, 32 to go in the third, the Braves are up by three. <laughs> 73's have the puck here. Merritt, his shot, scores! Nathan Merritt off the crossbar and in. He goes bar down on Philip Rondina. And Merritt with a huge goal there late in the third. Kempville now down by two. That gets blocked, ends up in the net. It's waved off immediately, and that will do it. The Brockville Braves win their fifth in a row. A 3-1 to one victory here on home ice over the Kempville 73s. A tough loss for Kempville trying to hang on to that eighth and final playoff spot in the CCHL. And with this win, the Brockville Braves jump up from sixth to fourth overall. And we'll be back at it in this building next Friday against the Ottawa Junior Senators. Kempville's next game will be against Carlton Place on Wednesday night at 7.30. Rondina, 30 saves for his second straight win. Aiden Yard with a pair of goals for the Brockville Braves. They get it done. Three to one over the 73s. Fifth win in a row. Thanks for being with us for this one. For the entire Your TV broadcast crew, I'm Harper Cody. We'll see you next time.